Lord Jesus Christ be with us right now. The Spirit of Truth is revealing something to us right now. All right? We're, I think we're all aware of it right now. Those who are seeking out Lord Jesus Christ as, as Almighty, we, 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 with fear and trembling, we got to know the truth because the truth is in us. We, good seed. That seed falls on good ground and finds good roots and grows. We are that seed. This is written for that seed of God. The tribulation of the last days is against the word of God. Right? It is against the lamb slain, the Lord Jesus Christ, the king of kings, who is the beginning and the end. He's not pre-end. He is the end. So the whole world will try to deceive the saints of the Most High. A man or the dragon proclaim to be God and do the miracles of God before the end of time. When Jesus descends upon this earth, every eye is going to see him. Don't be deceived. Christ isn't over there, and he's not over there. Because he's going to come, and the whole world will be able to see him because he's God. Can you dig it? The tribulation of the last days is against the saints of the Most High. The ark that Noah got into was Jesus Christ. And that water that was upon the earth was the wrath of God. Praise God. Praise God that we have truth in us. Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Be filled with the Holy Spirit of truth that we walk in that straight path and enter into that narrow gate that is Jesus Christ. He is the ark. He is that straight and narrow path. Broad and wide is a path of destruction. You can just do whatever. The whole world be deceived. How is the whole world deceived if there's great wrath and tribulation? Ah, don't believe it. It is the hearts. The abomination that makes desolate is in the hearts of men. You know, they are trying right now to deceive the whole world by all that's happening right now. Man, men are turning against the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the ark. Enter into the ark and be saved. Open your heart and let the Spirit of God dwell within you. Confess Jesus Christ as the Son of God, the Lord everlasting. He's the only way. The only way to the Father is through the Son. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying, giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered into the ark. Now, let me think about that. So if there's great uh, unrest and all this, how come you're eating and drinking and marrying and being in marriage? Oh, we're going to have a family and all this stuff. The tribulation is for me and for you that are written in the Lamb's book of life. Praise God. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Took who away? Not Noah. Noah was in that boat floating. He was in the Lord Jesus Christ. He had the truth. He was written in the Lamb's book of life. He had the seal of God in him. The rapture upon this earth is the great deception. You guys can believe that rapture because it takes place, but it's not for the saints of the Most High. Believe it. Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end. He's not pre-end. He's the end. And the dead in Christ will be resurrected from the dead. And they'll join in spirit with the Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints of the Most High. The tribulation is for me and you that are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Believe it. The flood at the end is the wrath of God. Then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding in the mill, and one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Man, we will know the end of time because we'll see the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not be deceived by anyone that says Christ is over there or Christ is over there. It's a lie. 
but who has the spirit of truth in, in him or me, right? We know the truth. We will not be deceived by darkness that tries to be the light of the world because the true light lighteth forever and ever, beginning and the end, alpha and omega. He's everlasting. Noah was prophesying, witnessing, saying repent, get into the boat. They were partying. They were living their lives, living in this world, having a good old time, you know. Noah's a nut job, just like I'm a nut job. The only way to everlasting life is the Lord Jesus Christ. Get into the ark and be saved. Don't be raptured away in the lies that, have, that are the dragons. He's ruled the world for a long time, and his end is near. I am going to enter into a great tribulation, all right? And it started this morning. I could feel it. Last night, I told someone that I love very much that I'm being tested. My faith is being tested. There's a spiritual war going over my head and probably your head right now. Praise God. The only way... This word of God is for the saints of the Most High. 